We've got our last group to introduce you to here at Carleton University. We've been spending the morning with the School of Industrial Design. Now this group actually went to Uganda. Andrew, why did the four of you want to uh, make the trip overseas? Well, the whole point of our project was to design not just not to design things for the Ugandan people that we were trying to help, but mm -hmm. with them. So each of our projects has a lot of input from the people who are actually going to be using them. Okay, so we've got a lot to show you. So let's uh, start off with Ruby. What did uh, you create here? Okay, so I built a what, we, what I'm calling the Ugandan Walker. The Ugandan because Walker. It's built for that environment, it's built to be low cost, mm -hmm. uh, built for the terrain, and built uh, with local materials. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so what's what's considered a local material? Well, I mean, it's all steel tubing that can be sourced there. Okay. And even the seat, we bought this fabric from Uganda and brought it back so I could test with it and stuff like that. Right. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so now the uh, hand-powered tricycle is actually a concept that was created in, in Uganda. But Alyssa, what uh, changes did you make to the, uh, to the structure here? Uh, so I made changes to the tricycle frame itself. Mm -hmm. I made it so it can be made at a lower cost. Uh, that there's more efficient manufacturing, so it's easier for the manufacturer to make it. And I also made some changes to the usability, so it's easier for the user. And, for example, there's increased cargo space, so they'll be able to carry more of their things. Okay, and so now who is this primarily designed for, this tricycle? Uh, with people with uh, mobility impairments. Mm -hmm. So there'd be amputees or polio victims that uh, don't have use of their lower body, and okay. so they'd use it with their upper body. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we've got a fourth member of the group who isn't here today, Carmen. However, uh, Carmen and Andrew actually built some attachments that go on the hand-powered tricycle. So, Andrew, what is the attachment that we're looking at back here? What you're looking at here is a mobile phone charging business, mm -hmm. a phone charging and payphone business that can be taken out to rural areas without any electrical infrastructure. Mm -hmm. How does it work? Well, you have a solar panel and a battery here. You can charge the battery via solar or just in town, mm -hmm. and then you take the tricycle out into the rural villages that don't have electricity, and you can make money by charging people's cell phones, because everyone has cell phones over there. Okay. So now, this is collapsible, I understand. How does that work? That's right. That's right. Well, the idea is once you've set up, you have to position your solar panel to catch the sun mm -hmm. and, you know, make it usable. But when you're on the move, mm -hmm. you can fold it away, and when you're totally done for it for the day, you can slide it down and take it off right. so as to keep it secure, okay. um, safe it in your home at night. So now what is the other uh, attachment that you've added down at the other end here? Well, this is, a, this is a Carmen Liu's project. She isn't here to talk to us today, mm -hmm. but again, a similar idea of generating income for these people. Um, this grinds maize and uh, G what they call G-nuts, what we call peanuts, okay. is a very popular dish mm -hmm. and a very popular agricultural product. Mm -hmm. And this allows them to do agricultural work with a tricycle. And why was it important to your group to add attachments that are mobile businesses? That's uh, one of the key differences between living with disability in Uganda versus, say, Canada, mm -hmm. is that there's not enough government support and um, lack of income is a real key problem for these people in trying to live a dignified life. So they asked us again and again, what can you do to economically empower uh, people with disability? Mm -hmm. So that's what Carmen and I sort of decided to focus on with our project. Okay, very, very cool. What a morning. The School of Industrial Design is such an interesting uh, program. You guys must have really enjoyed your four years. Yes, yeah. very much. Mm, thank you very much for having us thank this morning. You. So a reminder that the graduation exhibit exhibition will be running until this evening. So you do have one more day to come on down to campus and check it out.